good afternoon students i don't know why only 17 18 students though it's already one uh, students uh, please make a note that i'll start exactly at the time given i'll not wait for uh, the students to join okay uh, so good afternoon all uh, if you remember we have already started with finite automata right i'll just uh, highlight or overview on what we have learned in the last lecture okay we saw the definition do you remember uh, the category of finite automata do you remember finite automata can be divided uh, broadly into two category do you remember what is it students if you remember please uh, put it in the chat finite automata can be divided broadly into two category do you remember that what is it any one of you i hope i am audible students my screen yes, is visible yes ma'am okay thank you so the finite automata can be broadly divided into two finite automata without output and finite automata with output okay and finite automata without output is divided into two more again dfa and nfa finite automata with output is divided into more machine and mini machine students you have to remember this okay so then we saw what is formal definition of finite automata can you give me formal definition students m is equal to what are the phi tuples that defines finite automata phi tuples that define finite automata start state very good then it is denoted with q0 start state is denoted with q0 what else what else formal definition there are five things that is known as tuples five tuples final state very good which is defined with f finite set of input very good that is summation transition state delta yes sigma is uh, uh, the same as finite set of input okay set of all states q very good yes you remember you don't remember all together but you remember at least one okay so these are the five tuples what is it what is q q is finite set of states what is summation or sigma finite set of input q0 is the start state f is finite set of final states okay yeah if you see here it is set of final states that means you may have more than one final state what is q0 q0 is start state and you uh, for a machine you have single start state okay and the transition function delta okay for form you know, for finite automata what is the transition function it is current state mapped with input gives you next state okay so after that we saw an example right we started with our first example design finite automata to accept uh, the decimal number divisible by 3 okay so for that what was our uh, input students quickly put it in the chat box or you can even unmute yourself and speak okay what was our finite set of input for the example it was 0 to 9 bhushan it is 0 to 9 okay yeah yes yes right it is 0 to 9 very good what was our start state what was our start state q0 very good very good sharvari uh, harish very good siddharth priti very good okay what was our set 
uh, of states q what was our q Zero one two, Preeti. It is zero one two, not one two. Okay, we have to take it. It's okay even if you uh, write it as uh, Q one, Q two, Q three. There is no issue. But while defining it, you have to define it properly. The name doesn't matter. You can take even capital letter A, B, C. A. What was uh, Q zero? What What is Q zero? What is that zero? What zero? Uh, yes, it is remainder zero. Yes, right. It is remainder zero. Q one was remainder one. Q two was remainder two. Okay, very good. So that is what we had defined. Okay, first and foremost, we have to define our formal definition. What is step one? Again, I am repeating. You have to write all these steps to get full marks. Okay, if you don't write these steps. If you don't follow this these steps, you will lose marks. So step one is you have to write what you are designing. Step two is formal definition. You have to define this. You have to remember this tuples, and you have to define this. Okay. Step three is state transition function. After that, what did we do? We combined this. We simplified this. Right. If you remember, we simplified this. Okay. Then. Okay, we simplified this. Then after transition tape, no, sorry, transition diagram. What is what is uh, sorry state diagram? What is our next step? It is transition diagram. Okay, in transition diagram, these are known as states. These are known as these are known as transitions. Okay, and start state is um, represented using an arrow. Final state is represented using Double circle. Okay, you have to remember this. How did we draw this using this? And even in state table, you have to remember to mark the start state and the final state. Start state with the arrow and final state with the star. Okay. So how did we draw this using this state table? Q zero on zero three six nine goes to Q zero. Q zero. Goes to Q zero on zero three six nine. Q zero goes to Q one on one four seven. Q zero goes to Q one on one four seven. This is how we completed this diagram. We have to draw each one of this. Q zero on zero three six nine. Q zero on one four seven. Q zero on two five eight. Similarly, Q one. On this, this, and this, and Q two on this, this, and this. So total we have nine transitions, right? We have nine transitions, and here we should have nine transitions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So after transition diagram, what is the next step? Next step is we have to verify our machine using example. We have to Through example, we have to show that whatever we have designed is right. Okay, so here is one example, like one, two, three, four, five. How to solve this example? Start with the start state. Whichever is my start state, start. We have to start with that state. If I have taken QS as my start state, I have to start with QS. Okay, so start with the start state and write the example. Then go on reading the input, the first input on the state given. Q zero on one. Q zero on one. Q zero on one goes to Q one. So here we have written Q one. Okay. So one has been read. What is our next one? Next input is two. As I said before starting the machine, uh, this uh, what is that? Before starting of this topic, I, if you remember, I told you that the machine read one digit at a time. This is my string given. This is my decimal number. This is my string, or this is my input given to the machine. But how the machine reads? The machine read one element at a time. If you see Q zero on one, 
then q0 on 2 q0 on 3 q0 on 4 q0 on 5 this is how the machine reads the input okay so this is your final step you have to take two examples one to show that the number is divisible that is it is accepted and another one the number is not divisible so the number is rejected when you say that the number is rejected when you get other than final state if you get the final state at the end then the input is accepted okay this was what we did in our last lecture is there any doubt students let me know if you have any doubt sure you have no doubt so then quickly we'll move on to the next example okay this i'll not be solving you have to tell me the answer for this okay so okay so tell me now design finite automata to check whether a given decimal number is divisible by 4 okay now quickly tell me quickly okay what is the input what is the input for this example design finite automata to check whether a given decimal number is divisible by 4 decimal number right since it is decimal number input is 0 to 9 very good very good okay then coming to uh, our states what will be our states you have to define the state okay don't just tell me q0 q1 uh, or abc something like that okay you have to define the states now okay what are the states yes Harish. if it is 0 1 2 3 then what is 0 what is 1 what is 2 and what is 3 remainder 0 1 2 3 yes 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 very good very good wonderful students i have okay so yes so see since it is divisible by 4 right since it is divisible by 4 so uh, the possible remainders are 0 1 2 and 3 right so what are the states we'll define we'll define q0 q1 q2 and q3 right very good so what will be our uh, start state and final state which is our start state yes and which is our final state which will be our final state final state but uh, final state how come how come it is q3 yes it is q0 itself why q0 but why uh, which we are considering as final state the number is divisible when the number is divisible the number is divisible only when the remainder is zero right and remainder zero we have defined as q0 so q0 is the final state i think there is no doubt in this uh, the students who had given q3 as uh, the final state students i hope it is clear now ah. okay so don't confuse if you have any confusion let me know we'll clear okay so that this is about the formal definition okay then oh, i haven't uh, written okay so coming to our uh, um, state uh, table right so we'll have the same thing 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and here we'll have q0 q1 q2 q3 right so what we'll have then what we'll have then here
Okay. So I'll uh, quickly write the transition table. You help me out what I have to write. Okay. Since you have understood this, I'll go a bit fast. Okay, I'll fill one or two from this so that if you have any confusion, we can uh, discuss it. Okay. So, just Q3. Our start state is Q0 market. Our final state is Q0 market with a star. Okay. Now, Q0 on 0. Quickly, students, give me the answer. Q0 on 0. You should be ready with the answer and put it in the chat box or you can even unmute yourself and give the answer. Q0 on 0. So, it is 0, 0 when divided by 4. The remainder is 0, so it is Q0. Very good. Q0 on 1. Q0 on 1. It is 0, 1, so it is Q1. 0, uh, what is it? 2. Q0 on 2. Q2. Yes, very good. Q0 on 3. Q3. Very good. Q0 on 4. Is it Q4? It is Q0. Very good. Very good. So you have understood it very well. Good. Q9. Okay. Q0 on 5. Q1. Very good. Yes. Very good. Q0 on 6. Q2. Okay. So you have understood. Now tell me. Q1 on 0. I'm here now. I have left that 7, 8, 9. You will do it. Right? So I'm here. Q1 on 0. Saurav says Q2. Is it right? Yes. Very good. Why Q2? Because it is 1. Q1 is 1. And this is 0. I'm reading 10 here. 10 divided by 4. Right? 10 divided by 4 is? Remainder is 2. So, here we'll get Q2. Q1 on 1, Q3. Okay, students, you fill this. I'll not uh, fill all the things, okay? Then, Q2 on 0. Q2 on 0. It is 20, right? 20 divided by 4, remainder is 0. Very good, very good, very good. Q2 on 1, 21. So it is Q1. Very good. Then I'll be going to Q3 now. Q3 on 0. What love? We are reading here 30. 30 divided by 4. Remainder is 2. So it is Q2. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So Q3 on 1. Q3 on 1. Q3 on 1 is Q3. Yes. Okay. I hope you'll fill this. Do you want me to fill all this, students? Can you fill it by yourself? Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So now, if I want to simplify this, if I want to simplify this, which are the similar one which I can uh, group together? Okay. Tell me the first group. Which I can group together? Which are the numbers or digits which I can group together? 0, 4, 8. Bhushan, Harshal. Yes, Amit says it is 0, 4, 8. Students, I hope you understood why we are grouping 0, 4, 8. Why? Because we have 0 remainder. 
If I take zero, I have zero remainder. One, two, three, no. Four has zero remainder again. Five, six, seven, no. So eight has zero remainder, right? The similar remainder are grouped together. Yes, yes, very good. I have, we are very fast, right? Good. So one, five, nine will be our next. Next grouping will be one, five, nine. And the last grouping will be eight minute. Or a na? Two, yes, three, seven, two, six, right? So this is zero remainder. This is one remainder. This is two remainder. And the next one is three remainder. Very good. Okay, so you can group this together and I hope you can fill this using this table. Okay, then after that you have to draw the transition diagram using this state table and then solve an example. I hope the decimal number divisibility is clear students. Is there any doubt? Okay, they may ask you divisible by 3, divisible by 4 or divisible by 5. Okay. Even if you have five, uh, what is the difference? The difference will be the number of states. How, what uh, states you will have? The possible remainders when a decimal number is divisible by five is zero, one, two, three, and four, right? So that will be the difference, okay? You'll have input same, you'll have start state same, you'll have final state also same, okay? Number of states, number of states, depends on the number given here the number given here right the number of states depends on the number given here you want to solve me this table okay i'll solve it yes sure you want to solve this okay We'll solve this thing. Okay, so we have Q0 here. This is the start state. This is the final state. Students, if you have understood this, you need not go for this table. You can directly go for this table, okay? So we'll solve this now. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Okay. Q0 on 0. Q0 on 0. So it is 0, 0. 0, 0 when divisible by 4. What is the remainder? What is the remainder? It is 0, 0. You can take any one of this. You can take any one of this. Okay? 0, 0, 0, 4 or 0, 8. You can take any one of this. So if I take 0, 4. So remainder is 0. So what is the state? State is Q0. Similarly for this, you can take 0, 1, you can take 0, 5, or you can take 0, 9. If you take any of one of this, what is the remainder? Yes, any one. Okay, so it is Q1. Yes, Utkarsh, it is right. You have to consider any one of this while solving this. Okay, you'll get the same answer. You take any base. Why we have grouped it together? Be because it is yielding the same remainder. Right? So while solving this, you have to consider any one of this. Okay? So here, 0, 2. 0, 2. What is the remainder? It is Q2. Yes. Right? Simple, right? Okay? 0, 3. What is the remainder? Q3. Fine. Okay. Now coming to this row. What I'm reading here? I'm reading either 10 or 14 or 18. Okay. I'm reading either 10 or 14 or 18. If I read 10 or 14 or 18 and divide it by 4. What is the remainder? It is Q2. Yes, very good. So 
it is cute okay similarly here i am reading 11 15 or 19 if i divide 11 by 4 it is q3 yes if i read 12 or 16 yahan pe kya aayega yes it is q0 good if i read 13 or 17 what is the remainder it is q1 very good okay similarly here i am reading 20 or 24 or 28 divided by 4 q0 very good we can directly draw this table instead of the above table yes yes rahul you can if you have understood this you uh, that how why you are merging or why you are grouping this you can directly go for this no need of this table at all okay so uh, what i am reading here it is 21 25 29 so what is the remainder it is q1 very good 22 22 or 26 q2 yes 23 or 27 it is q3 okay students am i going fast i hope you are understanding Do you want me to slow down? Is this okay? Thank you, Utkarsh. Okay. So, what is this? 30. 30. Uh, 30 divided by 4. What it is? Q2. Very good. 31 divided by 4. Or 35. Or 39. It is Q3. Yes. Very good. 32, 36. 32 or 36. It is Q0. Yes. Very good. 33 or 37. It is what it is? Q1. Okay. Can you draw the transition diagram using this? Or you want me to show the transition diagram, students? Can you draw transition diagram using this? Oh, okay, at least I'll draw one of them. Okay, the others you do. I'll show you one of them. Okay, start with the start state. Start with the start state, right? Start state has to be marked with an arrow, right? Start state is Q0. This is how we draw the state what is how we draw the state a circle and write this uh, state name within the circle okay start state with the arrow to the state okay we have started with the start state q0 on 0 4 8 goes to q0 that is q0 goes to q0 on 0 4 8 q0 transits to q0 on 0, 4, 8. Okay. I hope you are getting me. Okay. Next. Q0 is going to Q1. Q0 is going to Q1 on 159. So, there is a new state Q1. Right. So, Q0 is going to Q1. On. 1, 5, 9. Okay. So, similarly, Q0 is going to Q2 on 2 and 6. Q0 is going to Q2. Q0 is going to Q2 or transiting to Q2 on 2 comma 6. Students, please bear with my uh, 
drawing on the digital uh, this one platform. Uh, so Q0 on Q2 is, um, sorry, Q0 is going to Q2. Yeah, I am coming to that. Oh, just I'm coming to that. I have started just with the start state. Yes, you are right for that. So it is Q0 is final state. So we have to show it with a double circle. Okay, I thought I'll complete this and I'll come to that. It's okay, fine. Okay. So Q0 is going to Q3. Q0 is going to Q3 on 3 comma 7. That is 3 and 7. Are you getting students? Are you getting how to read this table and convert that to transition diagram? So we have done only with Q0. Similarly, we have to draw for Q1. We have to draw for Q2. We have to draw for Q3. Okay. It's not mandatory to place Q1 yahi pe hona chahiye, Q2 yahi pe, Q3 yahi pe, nothing like that. You can place it anywhere. Okay. But you should highlight the start state and the final state. I hope this is clear. Do you want me to complete this or you people will do this? Do you want me to complete this? Or shall we move on to the next example, students? Okay. Fine. So, okay. Uh, someone said show Q2 also. Okay. Q2. Q2 on 0, 4, 8 is going to Q0. Q2 is going to Q0. Q2 is going to Q0 on 0, 4, 8. Okay. Then Q2 on 1, 5, 9 is going to Q1. See, it is left to you. You can draw the transition here. Sorry. Please mute yourself. Yeah, but I'm Q2 on 048 goes to Q0. Q2 on 159 goes to Q1. Okay. Uh, as I said, you can go this way, you can draw, or even you can draw, you can overlap the arrows. Okay. 1, 5, 9. Hope you are getting me. Okay. Then Q2 on 2, 6 goes to Q2. So it is 2, 6. Then Q2 goes to Q3 on 3, 7. So it will be 3, 7. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, it is clear how to draw the transition diagram. Okay. You please complete this diagram. We'll move on to the next example. Okay, students, uh, um, I know I uh, maybe so a few of you may feel that you want me to solve each and every step and each and every example, but uh, due to the lack of time and uh, since syllabus is more, we can't touch each and every example in detail. So I'll give you the logic. I'll give you uh, how to do it. Please, it's left to you that you have to practice it and complete the example. Okay. So, we'll move on to quickly to the next example. So, what we saw in this example is decimal number divisible by 3. Right. So, now what we'll see, we'll see the next example is. Binary number. Yes. It is binary.
binary number divisible by 4. Okay, so it is binary number designed finite automata to check whether a given binary number is divisible by 4. Okay, so it, uh, what we'll do, we'll quickly move on and solve it. Okay, tell me now what, what will be our input. What will be our input? It is very good, very good. Since it is binary number, we have only 0 and 1. Is there any doubt, students? Any one of you? Is there any doubt that why we have 0, 1? Liya? Nahi na? Because binary number means 0, 1. Hoga. Right? Then, uh, coming to our states. Q. What, what are our states? What did they have given divisibility? Divisibility by 4. So what are our states? What will be our Q? Yes, it will not affect our um, uh, Q. The number system will affect only the summation. That is your input. It will not affect your state because whatever it is the remainder is same the possible remainders will be q0 q1 q2 and q3 that is 0 1 2 and 3 possible remainders right so uh, our states will be same okay so q0 for remainder 0 remainder 0 remainder 1 remainder 2 and remainder 3 Okay, so what will be our uh, start state? Which will be our start state? Q0 itself, right? Because 0 at the left side or at the beginning means no value for number system. Okay, I'm repeating this because when we move on to the next examples later on, okay, 0 also has value. Since in number system, zero doesn't have value at the left hand side, we are taking start state as Q0. You have to remember this, okay? Then, which will be our final state? Final state, Q0 itself, because remainder he hai, so remainder zero is should be accepted, so it is Q0, okay? So we'll quickly move on to our state table. Input is only 0, 1. So, here is 0, 1. Hoga, right? Here Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Right? Mark the start state. Mark the final state. Okay? So, now, quickly we will fill this. Help me in filling the state table. 0, 0. Kya aega yaan pe? Very good. 0, 1. Q1. Very good. 1, 0. 1, 0. One zero. Amisha says Q1. All others says Q2. Whether it is Q1 or Q2? It is Q2. Okay. Uh, students, okay, fine. One, one. Okay, students, I just want to ask, I don't know whether you have understood or not. Uh, here, what number I'm reading here? What number I'm reading here? You said two, right? You said two is the element. Yes, yes. Yes, Karthik. Very good. Utkarsh, right. We are reading one zero. 
राइट वन जीरो मतलब टू है यहाँ पे इट इज नॉट टेन ओके सिंस इट इज बाइनरी नंबर यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट हियर वी आर रीडिंग वन जीरो टू हियर वी आर रीडिंग वन वन थ्री ओके ओके इज इट टू जीरो हियर वॉट वी आर रीडिंग हियर वॉट वी आर रीडिंग हियर is it 20 is it 20 is it 20 here here in this place hum yahan pe kya read kar rahe hain what number we are reading here it is 4 how it is 4 it is 100 yes kartik very good here we it is 2 how 2 is represented in uh, binary number it is 10 right 10 and a 0 from this gives you 100 i hope students you are understanding this okay we are reading 100 that is 4 One zero zero in binary number is four, right? Four when divided by four gives you four divided by four gives you remainder zero. So it is Q zero. I hope oh, you people are getting me. Students, is there any doubt? Let me know. Okay, we are not reading twenty here. Twenty is in decimal number, right? in binary since this is binary number here it is 0 here it is 1 here it is 10 and here we are reading 11 right so here what we are reading we are reading 101 101 is 5 right 5 when divided by 4 what is the remainder it is q very good you people are smart very good okay what is 110 One one zero six six when divided by uh, four, remainder is two, so it goes to Q. What about this? Q three on one is Q three. Okay. Any doubt, students? Any doubt? Is clear. This is clear. Very good. Very good. Very good. So we have fifteen minutes. So what I want you people is, I'll give you another example. You have to solve it and upload it. Okay. I'll give you the space to upload it. Okay. Ah, uh, your uh, question is design finite automata to check whether a given binary number is divisible by 5 design finite automata to check whether a given binary number is divisible by 5 okay i'll give you this link this padlet link you can upload your answer on the padlet you have to click on this students i hope you can see my screen padlet screen okay you have to click on this have you used padlet before no ma'am okay you just open with the link okay you just click on this you get the space you write your name here okay and then you can upload it see here you can upload any of the file okay see here please do upload or you can even write here okay if you want to write your answer you can write here like m is equal to q okay summation you can write you need not uh, uh what is that give the symbol since it may take time or you can write it in your you can solve it in on the page and take a pic and upload it okay please do it first you create a, 
create your uh, uh, padlet and write your name. Design finite automata for two. So binary number. Uh, just see whether it is accessible, students. Are you able to create? Are you getting this plus sign at the end? Yes, you can. Okay, very good. So this is your question. Mm. It's better if you write your name rather than your roll number, please. Okay, I have given five. I thought I have given three. Okay, five. I'll make it five. Roll number 48, uh, please write your name. Okay. Students, I want each and everyone should solve this example and upload it so that I'll understand that you have understood the example. The concept is clear. If there is any problem by solving, let me know. And automata theory is such a subject that if you sit and listen, it is very easy. But when you start doing, you will have many doubts. So you can write the formal definition directly here and upload only the state table and transition diagram as a pick or you can solve complete uh, complete question and then upload. have any doubts students let me know i hope your people are solving
focus you have to define it properly beta okay q1 is equal to remainder one or one remainder two remainder it is not one two three four right what is this one two three four you have to define students yeah all of you you have to remember this it is not one just one two three four okay it should be properly written one remainder or remainder one remainder two okay as soon as we see that the evaluator should understand what you have taken just it is not q1 on q0 it should be q1 on 0 q1 on 1 right yeah yes sure show this Only forty seven students who are here today. Yeah, Anupam, Ah, Utkarsh, and all you have taken remainder one, two, three, four. Where your people have skipped zero remainder zero. Possible remainder sir, zero one two three four right. So you have skipped zero. Just check that. Even ojas.
and students please don't copy others you do it yourself if you have any doubt you can make that uh, doubt clear okay so this this Reha is right with the remainder. Yes, Janvi is yes, very good. Pojas, still you did not add Q0. Remainder Q0. PT, I just check. Yes, please. Very good. Yes. So you have done till step four, right? So you have to finally you have to verify it using two example. Okay, you are remaining with that. All rest is correct. Good. have added Ishan has added we check yes very good start state final state but just uh, Ishani check here you have to mark start state even in the state table okay please do mark it rest is fine Yes, very good. Okay, and again, as I said to Preeti, the same thing. You have to solve two examples. One to accept the input and the other one which rejects the input. Okay, rest is right. Very good. Okay, students, I'll uh, check each one of your answer. Okay, so... Please make sure that you add it by today. Okay, whenever you get time, you add it, you solve it and you can upload it. Okay, it is online. You can update it any time. Fine, I'll just check it. Okay, now since it is already 2 o'clock, I'll give you the attendance. Please check your chat box. I have pasted the link for the attendance. Please fill the attendance, students. For today, we'll uh, stop here. Uh, as I said, please complete the given example and upload it. I'll check it whenever I get time. Maybe maximum by tomorrow, I'll check it. Okay? So, please make sure you solve it yourself. Okay, students, we'll stop our lecture for now. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye.